Good morning, my maker friends. How is everybody doing this morning? I'm really excited you're joining me over here at a Maker Studios Facebook page today. My name is Carrie, and I have a YouTube channel called Mama Dare City DIY. I do a lot of really fun and creative DIYs over there. So if that is your jam, you might want to head on over there after today's live and check that out. But y'all, I'm here on a Maker Studios Facebook page today because I'm taking over to show y'all a really fun and easy project today using a brand new stencil. Y'all check out this stencil. This stencil is called Holidays Are Here. It is a really fun shape. This is a 12 by 12 square in total. You've got some really pretty details with the snowflakes. You've even got some little pine needles here, some little holly berries. And y'all, this is just a really fun and beautiful stencil. I'm going to show you how you can transform an ordinary everyday sweatshirt from your local Dollar General into a beautiful wearable piece of art. Would you like to win this stencil for your very own? Y'all, one lucky winner is going to actually do that. All you've got to do to be entered in the giveaway is drop a couple of your friends' names down in those comments below, and one lucky person is going to get the stencil for free. Isn't that awesome? I love this stencil. So let's hop onto the workspace and let's get started. Okay, y'all. So here is our workspace. I'll let you see another close-up look of this beautiful stencil before we get started. If you're just now joining us, this is called Holidays Are Here. And y'all, the holidays are definitely here. And it's going to be Christmas Eve before we know it. I'm really excited to show you this project. And y'all, it's going to be super inexpensive because this is a sweatshirt that I picked up at my local Dollar General. I'm going to kind of give it a little fun vibe because I'm going to cut the neck out. And I'm also going to cut up the sides of the hem here just to kind of give it a little bit of an 80s flair. The 80s were my most favorite time in my lifetime. And I love doing this with the sweatshirts from the Dollar General. So I'm going to be using the metallic gold and well I declare today in our gel art inks from a maker studio but I just wanted to let you know you can also bring in some more of those traditional Christmas colors by using the bless your heart or the grass is always greener. I'm going to use my spreaders to put down my paint in a lot of the stencil today but then I'm going to go back in with some fine paint brushes and I'm going to add in some little details so that's going to be really fun. So the first thing I want to do I'm going to move this out of the way for just one second because y'all we can get our neck cut out of our sweatshirt and we also need to cut up our hem. And again this is just what I like to do with these sweatshirts. If you like your sweatshirt just like it is then all you've got to do is hop in and get started and y'all all I do is just cut up like this I do like a big oversized sweatshirt so I do like to use a little bit larger than I normally wear because I like to put these with leggings and look if you just give it a little tug that fabric is going to wrinkle and it's going to curl under and y'all, you don't have to sew it, you don't have to hem it, you don't have to do anything at all. So next I'm going to do the same thing with my neck. And I don't measure or anything, I just get my scissors and go to town. I love that off the shoulders sort of flash dance look and that's it now I'll just take into the same thing and again if this look is not to your liking then definitely feel free to just use your sweatshirt just like it is but this is what I love to do with these sweatshirts Okay, so I'm going to straighten it back out. Now let's bring our paint back over. And 
and let's open up this stencil. Now I am going to go ahead and put a piece of cardstock in between my sweatshirt because I don't want my paint to bleed through. And if you need to, you can definitely measure, but I'm more of an eyeballer. Okay, so now let's open up our stencil. And if you've never used our mesh stencils before, you're in for a super fun treat. So you're going to get a little backing here. You can actually use this backing in between your sweatshirt if you wanted to, but I had an extra sheet of cardstock, so that's what I'm going to use. But you definitely don't want to toss this. You want to keep this in your package so that you can reuse your stencils over and over again. Y'all, that's the beauty of our mesh stencils. They are completely and totally reusable. I've used many of my stencils several, several times. The key is taking good care of them and you want to make sure you hold on to your backing as well. So now I'm just going to try to find my center. That looks pretty good. When you're working with your stencils, it's really important that you burnish in. And by burnish in, I just mean you want to take your hands and your fingers and you want to really rub in that stencil. You want to bond really well to the material. You're not going to get any bleeds or anything like that if you prep your stencil. It's really important when you've got a, a big area like this that you burnish in the little sections of your words too. This whole thing is actually going to be covered in paint. So I know it might seem a little daunting to take the time to burnish in every little section but trust me, it's going to make a big difference. What other crafts are y'all making for the holidays? Are you completely through with your Christmas shopping? I admit, I'm so far behind, y'all. It's not even funny. I did finally manage to get my tree up, though, so I feel like I have definitely accomplish something. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I am going to be using the Well I Declare and also the Metallic Gold. But y'all, I want to do the entire stencil first with my Well I Declare and then I'm going to go back in with some really fine paint brushes. I'm going to paint those details in with my Metallic Gold. So this is going to be one of the most simple projects you can do. I'm just going to put my gel art ink right onto my stencil. We're going to be working really quickly when we do this. This almost seems too easy, doesn't it? It's really just a matter of getting all your paint into 
your stencil. When you're using a dark background, like the black, it makes it really easy to see where you've gotten your paint. Or ink, rather. I don't guess we really are, can call this paint. It's an ink. This is going to be super cute with a pair of Christmas leggings. You could actually even put some of this material, on, I mean this stencil, onto a pair of leggings. I think that would be super cute. Now we want to work really quickly. We're just pushing all of our paint down into our stencil. It would even be fun to make all of your girlfriends one and y'all can all have like matching outfits. That would be so stinking cute. My daughter's having some friends over for a little Christmas get together with her girlfriends and they might actually make them matching shirts while they're here. It's super important when you're doing this that you get your ink into all the crevices. If you can still see black through there, then you're not going to have a good result. So there may be even some places you need to go over a couple of times to make sure that you get all of that ink into your stencil. If you wanted more of a vintage look, you could definitely get that by not going over it as well. Okay, I think we are ready to take it off. Now, as soon as I take this off, I'm going to drop this into my bucket of water. Look how cute that is. I'm going to drop this into my bucket of water right now because I don't want this to dry. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my little handy dandy blow dryer. I'm gonna mute the sound and I'm just gonna dry this just a little bit so I can go ahead and work on my gold. So it's gonna get quiet for just a few seconds. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. It's not totally dry. You really wanna let it dry for at least four hours. And after that, you're gonna to want to take a cotton cloth and you wanna cover your design and then you wanna set your iron on to cotton and press that for just a few minutes. And that is gonna to totally seal in your paint. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of my gold into a dish. And I'm going to take one of my really skinny brushes because I want to outline my happy holidays. I really want that to sparkle and be pretty. And actually, I think I've changed my mind. I think I want to use this bigger brush. I think I can get a little bit more paint on it. So let's move these out of the way. And you can actually use your gel art inks with your paint brushes. But I really like the fact that I've got my outline of my words here 
And even if I don't have great handwriting, I still have my stencil here and it's going to give me sort of like that handwritten look. When you do your project, you do want to sort of let your, your stencil dry a little bit longer, but because I'm trying to do this for y'all without having to make you wait for four hours while this dries, that's why I used my my little blow dryer. And y'all feel free, like I said, you can use any color that you want to. I just love the black and the white and the gold together. But it would really be pretty with your traditional Christmas colors. This gold paint is so pretty. And feel free like just to use this as your outline. If you want to give it more of that hand painted look, then where your lines kind of curve, make that a little bit thicker. You don't have to just use your stencil the way it is. going to give it more of that handwritten look if you do that. So in this curve, I'll make it a little bit thicker and then I'll come back up and make it thinner. So even though my handwriting is atrocious, I can follow outlines. Don't forget to let me know, are you watching this live or are you catching it on a replay? And also, one lucky person is going to be able to win this stencil for their very own. We're going to pick somebody from the comments that drops three of their friends' names. And somebody is going to get this stencil. It's such a pretty stencil. And feel free to put as little bit or as much of the gold on your shirt as you want to. If you want to outline everything, you can definitely do that. You could have actually even done the entire stencil in the gold. But I knew I wanted my words to be gold. You do want to make sure though that your white or whatever color that you put down first is dry. Are you completely done with Christmas? I'm so far behind this year, y'all. This year has just really flown by for me. I'm really hoping the camera is picking this up for y'all. Sometimes with that bright light coming into my room in the mornings, sometimes it does sort of wash out my color. So I'm hoping y'all can see this. After I finish the happy, I'll pick it up so you can see it. This is a very fun shape. It's something about picking up a paintbrush to me that is just so satisfying. And even if you're not artistic or your handwriting is not great, you kind of have your outline here from your stencil, so you really can't mess it up. And in this band here, I'm going to get it just a little bit thicker.
It would even be pretty to add in some silver. I actually have some of the silver over here too that I could do that with. Are you a handmade gift giver? I definitely am. When I love you, I make you things. Anybody can go to the store and buy a gift, but my extra special people get handmade gifts. Okay, I'm going to pick this up so you can see how pretty that looks. Isn't that nice? Now, I will not bother you or bore you with doing the rest of it on camera, the words, but I do want to go ahead and pull out, I'll finish the holidays part off camera. But I do want to go ahead and add in some color just on some of my berries. I don't want to paint the whole thing. Just want to add in just some little pieces of color. Just to kind of make it pop. The gold is so pretty and so striking up against the black. What would you do with this stencil? Do you kind of have some ideas? It would really make a pretty sign too. That is really pretty in it. Okay y'all, besides finish, finishing my holidays part, I think this is done. I could really go overboard with, with my gold but I'm gonna try really hard and not do that. I just wanna let that be my accent color. So what do y'all think about this project? Isn't it easy? Do you think I should go back in and add some silver? Let me know down in the comments below. After I get this done, I'll be sure to post a picture down in the comments so you can see what it looks like all finished. Y'all, I really hope y'all enjoyed this project as much as I did. If you have created something with the stencil, I would love for you to drop that down in the comments. Put a picture there. I would love to see that as well. If you've got any questions or you want to ask us anything, be sure to let us know that down in the comments too. Also, let me know, did you watch this live or did you catch this on the replay? I can't wait to see what y'all do with this stencil. I've got to hop off of here for now. Until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.